No one is driving in this car. That's strange. Self-driving robo-taxis are already on the road in two U.S. cities and could soon be coming to a place near you. This is crazy. Today we're taking you on an exciting adventure, a ride on one of Waymo's driverless cars. Sit back, relax, and let's dive into the future of transportation. Are you nervous? Yeah. So you're not nervous? Uh, a little bit. I guess we'll see. Am I smelly? You're sweating because you're nervous. I know. We're in downtown Chandler, and we're about to get in a driver, driverless, driver, driverless, in a driverless car. In a driverless taxi. Just like Uber, Waymo's driverless car service is accessed through their app. Download the app, log in, and check if the service is available in your area. Currently, Waymo's driverless cars are available in San Francisco and Phoenix, but according to Waymo's YouTube channel, their self-driving cars will be coming soon to Los Angeles. I'm jokeless as much as our car is driveless. <laughs> I said a joke. What was the joke? <laughs> I downloaded the app and we're about to order the driverless car. Where are we going? Ordering a ride is as easy as a few taps on your screen. Once confirmed, you'll be matched with a way more luxury SUV. Okay, it's going. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm nervous. You excited? 15 minutes, huh? I am not excited. I'm hungry though, so I'm excited about food. Oh shit! Oh shit, he's coming! Okay, I'm out! <laughs> <laughs> this is bunker. That's fancy. Alright, okay. Okay, no time to regret. I'm unlocking it. Unlock it. Oh. oh shit! I'll go in the back with you right now. Hello, Hello Antonio. Good evening. This is crazy. Cool. Okay, first impressions. There's nobody in there. This is bunkers. Okay. It smells good. It's very clean. Do you want to start the ride? So you can do it from your from your phone or from this. I think. Hello from Waymo. As we get going, just give us one minute to cover a few riding tips. <laughs> this experience may feel futuristic, but the need to buckle up is the same as always. So count your seatbelt fasten, please. If you're traveling with little ones or expecting, please see the seatback card for more information. We're gonna be in this car for 36 minutes. <laughs> what? Maybe for the first ride we should have chosen a Shorter ride? Why? 36 minutes? It's quite long, no? You're nervous? Of course I'm nervous! You know, I think... This I, is so un unnatural! I mean, we live in the future, man! I hope we will live in the future for a few more years. These cars stick to the streets, never venturing onto the freeways. Which, I'm okay with. It seems like Waymo's vehicles are designed to prioritize safety. After all, it makes sense that this is a priority, Otherwise, no one would be brave enough to use them. They strictly adhere to speed limits, usually driving a bit under the speed limit. Did you sign some waiver? Like, this is not our fault if we just run you into the wall? Probably. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm distracted because I'm filming, but I'm not really uncomfortable. But right now that you're filming, I'm kind of digesting the fact that there's no one driving and we're like in an intersection and there's a green light and there's cars coming this way. I don't know, this feels strange. <laughs> strange, for sure. Equipped with cameras and sensors, Waymo's cars navigate the city streets flawlessly. There might be a few minor hiccups, such as sudden braking when the car detects an object on the road or thinks that there is something on the road. But overall, the experience is super smooth. What you doing? You pulling over? Don't pull over. <laughs> It's just kind of randomly slowed down. I think he thought it was there was something on the road, but nothing was there, so so we're all good. No worries. I think this is probably safer than when people are driving. Is it? It didn't speed once, and it's very careful. It's using blinkers, which chef's kiss. <laughs> Nobody's using blinkers. Here's a neat feature: you can add an extra stop to your destination at no additional cost. Whether it's a quick grocery run or a brief errand, the car will wait for you. 
Just remember to take your belongings with you, as the car may need to leave, and another one will pick you up later. Hey, look, you can see like there is there is a car next to us. <laughs> I have butterflies. Why? I am nervous. I don't know because it's new and every time you encounter something which is this new, you have to be nervous. Otherwise, you're a psychopath. <laughs> Man, for me, it's kind of like weirdly normal. I'm not really that nervous. I think it's because it's driving so well. Check the app for walking directions. Walking? For your safety, walking. the doors will remain locked when we arrive. Pull the handle twice to exit. The first pull unlocks. The second opens the door. It was actually mighty impressive to see the car maneuvering itself throughout the parking lot. Tons of stop signs, people crossing the street, cars all over, and no one hiccup. Okay. Finding a spot to pull over, he says. This is perfect. This is good. You're here. You're here. Please make sure it's Look at those people over there. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Thank you, car. It did drop us off right next to the garbage dumpsters, though, but not a big deal at all. Thank you, car. We survived! <laughs> I need to eat and drink, and well, I'm gonna enjoy my life right now. Well, you have to take it back to go back. Oh. It was a 36 minute ride and it was only $22. Very so that's affordable. cheaper than Uber actually. Okay, it's turning now. It's coming. It's coming to that stop sign. You're cute. Thank you. We come there right. Can you unlock it? Yes, done. Hey there, Antonio. <laughs> Hi there, car. You ready? I am. Buckle up. Heading to parking lot. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. Crossing. That looks good on monitor. <laughs> it's crazy how quick you get used to it as a passenger. On our way to the restaurant, we were both a little bit nervous, but on the way back, we were pretty much just enjoying the ride, listening to music and talking about anything else but the fact that no one was driving the car. It's a little bit weird and strangely comfortable. It's like something you've seen in a sci-fi movie or a TV show, but now it's a reality. So you seem more relaxed right now. So the first time I was a little bit nervous because, you know, first time. And then one little drink. <laughs> <laughs> one little drink Ease made Ease me it. into the future. <laughs> Way most drivers' cars are equipped with an impressive array of cameras and sensors, putting them ahead in the self-driving technology race. It's not ten... Yeah, I'm taking over. So that was bad. The future of transportation is within reach. Before our Waymo ride, we thought self-driving technology will be here for massive consumption in maybe a few decades. However, after our Waymo ride, I think driverless cars will be all over the country in only a few years. Is it, no? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting. So if you're in the Phoenix area, be sure to check out Waymo's driverless car service and experience for yourself what the future of transportation will look like. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next one. Now you're driving. <laughs> Crap, I have to drive? What kind of bullshit is this? <laughs>